What is up guys and welcome back to another play review. Today I'm excited to tell you we're going to be looking at Second Inform Fabregas. A lot of you requested him and I think this is like my third play review in this week. I don't know but this that, that's quite a lot. And if you enjoy these videos guys I'd really appreciate you hit that like button. And after this video I think in 3-4 hours I will be uploading my uh, Premier League predictions for team of the season. So I'd really appreciate all your support on this video and the next video of course. But anyway... Um, I just want to ask you guys one thing before I begin this review. Why has why have EA made Fabregas look like Frankenstein in this fucking picture? I don't know. He has such a big forehead or a big head. I don't know. He just looks like exactly like Frankenstein in this picture. But uh, I was able to get this guy for 230k on the PS3 and uh, he is really really good. Very underrated and I've never tried any of his non-informs or his informs. Um, the only one that I just jumped to is his second inform and I have to tell you guys he is straight up amazing. First up you could play him in a striker role, centre forward role, centre attacker midfielder role, centre midfielder role. It's just He just fits in all those positions perfectly. Um, I did try him out in a 4-2-2-2 uh, formation and he fits perfectly in that as well. Awesome shot power, you can definitely score long shots from 40 yards out. And he has dipping long shots, I know you'll find that funny. I saw you guys uh, fucking comments on foothead but uh, you know, it's all, it's all, um, it's all good. And also he has amazing dribbling as well, but sometimes I do find myself finding the plays that are slow paced much better or much easier to dribble the ball with past defenders than the higher paced players because I don't know, I find them more easier to control while the higher paced players, it, they, they just um, walk, uh, run into defenders much quicker. I don't know, I just found him so much easier to dribble than a higher paced player with high dribbling. So he is definitely one of the best, uh, one of the best dribblers you can try out in Ultimate Team. Uh, he has really good finishing, it's somewhere in the high 80s, so you would definitely be able to rely on him in the penalty area. He's de really decent at free kicks because, well actually his free kicks are really dangerous because I had one free kick and it, ne and it hit the post sadly but you could definitely see that his free kicks are really dangerous and you could definitely score a couple um, he has amazing passing that is why he fits in different positions such as cam uh, center midfielder and center forward other than striker even though he does fit as a striker and another thing is about his pace he does feel faster than 71 pace surprisingly but he doesn't he's still slow which is a bad thing so if you want to try him out as a striker he does he's still uh, quite slow for a striker um, and another thing is he's really weak so if you if you still want to try him out as a striker he um defenders will easily bully him off the wall he has three star weak foot and three star skills as well so you have to take that into consideration um but that is pretty much it for second inform fabregas let me just summarize everything he has awesome shot power and awesome dipping long shots uh, amazing dribbler Really good finisher, very good at free kicks, amazing passing, can play in ST, CF, CAM and CM, awesome finesse shots, really weak, slow and freestyle weak foot and freestyle skills. So if you guys enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate you hit that like button and also don't forget that later on today I will be uploading my prediction for team of the season in the Premier League and after that maybe in a couple of days time I will be moving on to the Bundesliga depending on how good you guys support both videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and as usual guys I really hope you have a very nice day.